This tutorial is going to tell you how to interact and grade student work once you have created an assignment. So last time we I showed you how to create an assignment and our um, ELA quiz was the example. So a couple things to note now that this assignment has been given to kids. First of all, Google Classroom will automatically keep track of students who are done and those who are not done. Once a student finishes an assignment, they um, have to turn it in via Google Classroom in order for it to show as done. Even if a student has not submitted it as their final work, has not marked it complete, you can still go in and um, grade it. Now throughout the work, the work time that students have, you at any point can go in and see the work that they have done. So if you simply click on the title of the assignment, it will give you a list of all of your students and their work. So let's say I wanted to check in with Lisa. As she was working, I could go right into her document and I could leave her a comment here. So oftentimes I'll go in and um, insert a comment, something like, um, where in the text did you find evidence to support this? Or I'll say things like, um, your in if it's a writing piece, like your introduction um, is weak, consider consulting the rubric to make adjustments, those kinds of things. Um, next, once the students have finished the assignment, I can actually give them a grade. So automatically, each assessment or um, assignment is out of 100 points. You can click to change that to any amount that you want, even if you wanted to make it something odd like 8 or 4 if you're doing the, the WCPS 1 to 4 rubric scale. Um, once you update the point notification, um, it notifies, once you update the point value, it notifies the students. I'm going to update. And now then I can go in and look at each student's assignment and actually give them a grade here. So I'm going to um, for Lisa, I'm going to give her a 4 based on what I saw, and for David, I'm going to give him a 3. Now, if I actually click on Lisa's name and go into her work this way, I can add a private comment. So I could say something like, Lisa, great use of text evidence. Um, let's discuss your understanding of theme in our next conference. So I can provide specific spe feedback to each student here. If I want to give specific feedback to the entire class, I can click at the top to where it says instructions and I can add a, a comment to the entire class. Um, so this could say something like, you know, great work uh, overall, please see your document for specific feedback or something like that. Back under student work, you'll notice that Google Classroom automatically saves everything that you're doing along the way. So even if I were to go completely out of this assignment and out of this class and then go back into this assignment in this class, what I have done will, will still be there. Now in order for this to get turned back to the students so that they can see the results of um, their feedback and their scores, I would then have to return the assignment. It's going to alert me that these assignments aren't done yet because I didn't have those students turn in the assignment. Um, however, like I said, a lot of times, especially in elementary school, I feel like a lot of my students forget to actually turn in the assignment even though the work is already done. So this is something that's really not a big deal um, in the long run. So I'm going to return it to the students. And now when the students log into their Google Classroom, um, they will get that feedback. Uh, to get back to my list of assignments, back to my stream, just hit the back arrow. A couple things to note. If um, I wanted to delete this assignment, simply click on the three little dots up in the top right corner, and you can click delete. You can also edit an assignment in this way. So if I wanted to go in and give the students an extra day to get it done, I could change the due date. Um, I could add another attachment or do whatever else that I uh, felt necessary. Then I'll click Save, and those changes will be updated. Up next, we'll look at posting a question to your students. So you can see um, how that is a very useful tool and how you interact with that as a teacher as well.